Alan Adams for Kanawha Valley Live, and I'm about to take you inside to check out Courting Disaster, the latest musical theater production to come out of Kanawha Players. Let's go check it out. Right, I'm here with musical director Mark Scarpelli, and tell me a little bit about the play Courting Disaster, if you will. Okay, it's a play about uh, a couple of people who like to sue and make their living out of uh, suing. So we have a, a husband and wife type litigants that uh, like to sue people to get money. And then there's um, their attorney, their plaintiff's attorney, and then there's a defense attorney. And, kind of turns into a love story because the uh, plaintiff's attorney kind of falls in love with her client and uh, the defense attorney falls in love with with the uh, the other litigant, the wife, so it's, it's a, a strange kind of story. But I'm with Lisa Gandy, who's playing the character of Tiff in this production. Would you tell me a little bit about your character? Uh, my character, she starts out as sort of accident prone, and she um, she's one that files lawsuits, like frivolous lawsuits, all the time. And <laughs> yeah, and um, well, that's she never works. She hasn't worked a day in her life because well, she's always getting hurt and filing lawsuits. And um, about halfway through, she finds out, or she loses her memory, and she doesn't like who she was before, and so she becomes a totally different character, so I play in sort of two characters. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. Well, how does this relate to, like, lawyers and law? Is this something that, uh, okay. is this something that a lawyer would come in and get a kick at? Well, a lawyer wrote it, so I would <laughs> hope that a lot that they, I think so, I think they would all get a kick out of it. I think they would look at it and go, oh yeah, that, that would never happen. I'm with my friend Melanie Larch, and she is playing the role of Judge I Am Fair, which is a really great name for a judge. Yes, tell, it is. Tell me a little bit about your character. Well, Judge I Am Fair is the very best justice you'll find, and it's my job to come in and try to render a just and fair verdict in the lawsuit that you see unfold over the course of courting disaster. All right, now you have a uh, very interesting history doing all sorts of musical theater here, um, opera. Uh, how does this stack up to some of the other shows that you've uh, done? You just recently got off the Romeo and Juliet rock opera, so talk a little bit about this compared to some of your other acts. Well, this is actually the second time that I've done something that is the world premiere of a work. The first time was with Jack the Ripper back in 2008, also with CYC, and also featuring a score by Mark Scarpelli. The only difference is we had a little longer time on Ripper than we did on this. We have actually gone from casting to the first read through to what you're going to see in two days here. Oh, wow. In just a matter of four weeks. Ripper was a little longer, but it's just really exciting to be part of a new show for the first time, especially when you have the opportunity to work with the people who are creating it. I'm with Craig Augie, who's playing the character of Howard in this production, and of course you just got off of Romeo and Juliet, a rock opera where you played Mercutio, so how is this different from playing, uh, playing Shakespeare? Well, uh, of course this is, this is also an original show, so there are some similarities there. Sure. Um, but um, this is much, uh, much lighter fare, <laughs> in right. a lot of ways. Um, although there are some sort of serious themes in the show, it's, it's comedic through and through. Um, Shakespeare, and especially Romeo and Juliet, as you know, is, uh, can be a little bit heavy. Yes, <laughs> yes. Even when it's put to music, it can still I be cry, heavy. Yes. So, but most do. Uh, I, I have trouble, I had trouble getting through it on those nights performing it, so um, this is definitely a lot lighter.
right, folks, I'm here with Kelly Strom, the director for this performance. Tell me a little bit about your job here and your role directing for Corey Ms. Okay. Um, exciting, exciting, kind of scary part to play because, you know, with, with an original piece, you don't know what you get. You have sure. no idea until you get started, right? And, and somebody has to be the one uh, in, in the middle, kind of taking all of the ideas and everything that the author gave you and everything the actors are giving you and the musicians and put it all together to make sense. Um, and kind of stand back and watch and let the ideas fly and take what works and, and put it into place. Fantastic. Well, yeah. what, what makes this unique? What makes this something that people want to come out and see? Well, first of all, Mark Scarpelli's music. I mean, I'm just saying, if you've ever heard Mark <laughs> Scarpelli's music, you got to come see Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, but this, um, besides that, we haven't had, that I can remember anyway, something like this. It's romantic comedy, it's musical, it's light, it's breezy, it's fun. It's new, you know, and there's it's not uh, there's nothing too deep and heavy and nothing like that. And it's summer, and we want to let go and play, right? And it makes fun of lawyers. Oh, absolutely! And who doesn't like to make fun of lawyers? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Tell me about working with the cast and crew. You oh, always mentioned Mark Scarpelli. Right? Absolutely, super cast. There's only six of them, right? Right. Which is actually a great number to work with because you know you get so many numbers, you really want to give everybody their say. And this is a nice, rounded, small number to work with. Every one of these guys have have a special something, right, that, that has just connected them perfectly to this character. I've actually got three of them who have quite a bit of musical theater background, etc. And then the other three who don't have as much. One of them has mostly no musical theater, but lots of choir background and play and all that. So you put all these different talents together, you know, and boom, you got a lot of excitement happening. All right. Well, tell me a little bit. Tell me about the dates and what people need to do to come see the show. Absolutely. Well, I'm, uh, you can just buy tickets right here at the door. Um, Thursday night is the grand world premiere opening. I mean, author will be here and his wife and everybody. And, you know, I'm going to put on a dress and fix my hair. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, Thursday night at eight. Friday night at eight. Saturday night at eight. But Sunday at two. We're going to have a matinee at two o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday to wrap it all up. Fantastic. Well, yep. thank you so much. Thanks for coming. I mean, everybody come out and support your local theater, and KP's here to entertain you guys, and we've got it this time. All right. So come on out to Canal Players and check out Courting Disaster. Canal Players is located at the corner of Beauregard Street and Washington Street East here in Charleston, West Virginia. Ticket prices are $16 for adults, $10 for any children and students under 17 years old.